but you do have two full hours to complete the project. All right? Ready, Mark? It's it. Go. Like, like, I'll do the motor structure. Oh, yeah. no, you have your spot right there. You just built the same exact thing, only part of the piece of paper. I'll tell you what you're doing. With me are Nate Hicks, and Kayla Grouse, and Kayla Howler. For this competition, we built a cable car, also known as the Canyon Coaster. Um, it runs on a chain suspended above the ground. Our cable car works like this. Gears powered by a solar-powered battery motor turn and move the cable car across the chain. The cable car we are showing you is a model of the real one, which is very large. People board are mobile robots through a door that opens in the back. Each robot, about 18 feet tall, seat 25 people. These robots attach to a part on the cable car. Those robots can fit in the car, seating up to 50 people on the vehicle. Both the vehicle and the robots are made out of a very strong and light metallic alloy of our own design. That's how our cable car works. Our eco-friendly canyon crosser is taking to the concrete canyons of New York City. This busy city provides scenic view for its passengers. The original use was to cross over canyons, but it could virtually take you over anything. The chain itself was an obstacle. The changing tension made the chain unsteady, and the subtle inclines and declines made it, it unsteady as well. The chain is strong, though, so it safely supports the cable car. With everything balanced out, it no longer is unsteady. It may seem slow, but it is the perfect speed for passengers to take in the beautiful view. The Canyon Crosser can conquer this city and the chain. Our Canyon Crosser is very eco-friendly. The Crosser doesn't use gas or fossil fuel. The motor is powered by a rechargeable battery. The battery is charged by solar power. If the sun isn't shining, the battery can run by itself for two days. With no pollution, this cable car is the perfect alternative for gas-powered transportation. We hope that you like our cable car. Uh, thank you for your time. Chain ready? All the way to second. Kayla ready? Yes. Nate, ready? I was born. Cable <laughs> car ready. <laughs> Hi everyone, we are the 7th grade team from Southern Columbia Area Middle School. I'm Meredith. With me today are Carly, 
Tori, and Connor. We tried to think outside the box when we answered the Connects challenge, so today we created an environmentally friendly people mover that can benefit our local community. Many members of our community live on farms. We wanted to create a vehicle that runs on battery power that can transport weight a good distance. So let me introduce Marvin, the mechanical ag agricultural roving vehicle with eco-friendly navigation. Marvin is able to transport over 10 pounds of weight in its, trailer, in its trailer bed. We accomplish this feat by placing motors both in the front of our car and in the back. Marvin could save a farmer tons of money by using a renewable resource, um, the sun, to charge its batteries. Farmers could fit a few workers in the front car and all the produce in the back. We all had a lot of fun working on our car together. Carly and Tori were the lead design engineers. Meredith, Meredith was our graphic designer and helped with blueprints. I helped, I helped with the overall design. We all worked on the rebuild. Thank you and good luck to their, all the rest of the other teams. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm here with my team from Southern Columbia Area Middle School. This is Casey, Chase, and Elijah, and we are Team EC Squared. The inspiration for the design of both our obstacle and the vehicle was the harsh winter of this past year and the TV show, The Walking Dead. In, our, in the winter, our car works on snow, but in the summer, the real fun begins, and it'll fend off the undead attackers of your average post-apocalyptic zombie horde. We tried to create a vehicle that is environmentally safe and looks cool, so we made the environmentally, economically cool car also known as the EC Squared. As an added bonus, it happens to have the essential ability to fight off any number of pesky zombie hordes. Our car is environmentally friendly because it runs on solely charged batteries instead of fossil fuels like gas or diesel. It will help protect the Earth's atmosphere, land, and clean water supply. Our greatest asset as a team was that we had a good sense of teamwork. Each of us was able to lead in their strongest department, thus increasing the quality of the project as a whole. This is our last project as a group because we're in eighth grade and it's time for us to step up, but we're always going to remember this. Thank you for your time. Congratulations. <laughs>